Alrighty, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about the Blood Claw and why the Blood Claw is super friggin cool. Alright, so it all starts with one hero. One hero and one hero alone is the entire reason that Blood Claws are worth taking. Turn this down, get some light in here. Now, this one hero that makes Blood Claws worth taking is Ragnar Blackmane. Now, our friend Mr. Ragnar, is he worth taking to make Blood Claws awesome? And how awesome does he make them? Well, first of all, he gives them, obviously, what he gives everybody. Furious Charge. Um, is Furious Charge really the key to making Blood Claws awesome? Yes, Furious Charge is. Alright, so this is my Space Wolf's box. Um, now... Why does Fury's Charge make the Blood Claw awesome? Just gonna grab some dice. This is gonna be mostly theoretical. Alright. Okay, so. Blood Claws on the charge normally get four attacks. Alright. However, with our friend Mr. Ragnar, they get. Instead of plus one on the charge, like most units, they get plus D3. Now, the Blood Claws get plus two on the charge, and no, they don't stack. The way that works is, according to the FAQ, you get a minimum of two, but you can get three. Alright, so that's awesome. So, with the roll of a D3, from here, I get five attacks with each of my Blood Claws. Super cool! Now, five attacks, what can I do? Even though we're only weapon skill three, that doesn't hinder us as much now that we're initiative five. Because we're initiative five, thanks to Fury's charge, we're getting in our attacks first, which is always better. Um, unless you don't want to kill the whole unit, in which case it's still better because you're losing fewer of your men. Anyway, um, so with five attacks, we still hit on four ups, okay? Now that was a pretty kind of mediocre roll. Even regular Marines would have failed it. Anyway, two hits. Winning whatever we're hitting on three ups, two wounds. Now, two wounds from one guy. Two wounds per unit that's attacking before the enemy gets to go. Pretty damn good. Two wounds per guy. And that was with a bad roll at first. Um, kind of picked it up in the second half, but not important. Um, and the thing is, is why not still go Grey Hunters? The biggest argument against the Blood Claw is his best friend, the Grey Hunter. Um, because the Grey Hunter's weapon skill 4. Grey Hunter has base, basically he has base 2 attacks because he's got the pistol and the, um, and the close combat weapon and the bolter. Um, so, he's never, he's hardly going to get fewer attacks than the Blood Claw with Ragnar. If anything, he's just going to get just as many, and a weapon skill 4. Well, be that as it may, the Blood Claw has one thing else that's going for him. The Blood Claw can be in units of not 5 to 10, but 5 to 15. With that said, you can have 15 guys with Furious Charge as opposed to 10 guys with Furious Charge. Now I know. Ragnar can do the War Howl once per game, and any unit that's within 18 inches at the beginning of his Assault Phase also gets this. However, they don't get the plus D3. Now, if you ask me, I think that the Blood Claws stand a chance as actually having something going for them here. Because without, without Ragnar, Blood Claws are inevitably far worse than Grey Hunters, I hate to say it. Um, I love the Blood Claw, I like the idea of the Blood Claw, and I want to make them work so bad but the Grey Hunter at the end of the day is the more cost effective guy. I mean he gets almost just as many attacks in close combat, they're better attacks in close combat, and he can shoot, and he doesn't have to charge anything if he doesn't have a wolf guide with him. Ugh. So yeah, the, the Grey Hunter's gonna win out as far as on paper, but I think that the Blood Claws are awesome and they deserve their moment in the sun, they really do. So Ragnar Blackmane is the way to go. Especially since he's like the, the super blood claw. Like you know, he I, he I don't think he was ever a great hunter. So if you read the books, um, 
He was a stupid wolf blade. Oh my god. And that, that's something for a different day. How much how much that, that storyline could have been awesome. But then they're like, and let's send him to Earth. Screw the space wolves. So, um, yeah, anyway. Um, at the end of the day, blood claws can have their moment in the sun. As long as you run them with Ragnar. Furious charge changes your entire army. I, I, when I when I assemble my new Ragnar model that I'm going to make, it's in the mail right now. It's not the official one. It's going to be a custom one. I'm going to make it awesome. When I do that, I'm going to make a video just on Ragnar and how he makes everything awesome and how Furious Charge is what the wolves have been needing all along. Um, where's he been all my life? I know, right? But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully I have given you an idea of how to use Blood Claws. Um, you know, run them in big units, run them forward, hit at the enemy in the face as hard as you can. Do the crazy things, charge the Carnifexes with them, do whatever you want. It's awesome. Um, hopefully I've given you an idea there. Ragnar can help it happen with Furious Charge. Strength 5, Initiative 5, guys. You can have 15 of them with up to 5 attacks each. Mmm! God, that is delicious. Anyway, that's it for now.